Okay, so for blowhard boost, we're gonna go into blowhard. So there's a handful of different ways we can necessarily um, explain this. So you're definitely gonna be hard charging out of here. So essentially with this, um, I tend to like to get this on first approach because trying to recover from missing it the first time is a little awkward for me. But um, point is to get that guy to shoot right about in that area up there. And we need to be jumping to be up there. And the most crucial part of this trick is you want to bonk the wall as close to being hit as possible, because the closer you get, the higher you go up. So if you bonk super early, you won't go up nearly as high. So anyways, what we're gonna do, um, my little visual cue to get it on first approach is this little divot where the geometry kind of changes. I hop up on here and that little bit of snow that kind of looks like a butt plug <laughs> I'm sorry, I've got no other way to really explain that. Um, this little area right here um, is where I jump. So when I jump, I'm holding forward and slightly off to the right. And when I'm at the height of my jump, I bonk like right before I get zapped. So this is what that's going to look like. Hopefully I can get that on the first try. So pretty much just like that. Um, and I really like this trick because not only does it cut off a lot of time, but the main reason I really like this trick, it gives you a lot of time to ascertain exactly where these platforms are. If you're doing this like the way the developers intend, you gotta jump through all this, and this, blind, this makes this a blind left. And by the time you get here, you have like a split second to ascertain exactly where those platforms are. So, yeah, that's about it. Oh, actually, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and die here. So, what to do if you need to recover. So, let's say you miss it on the first one. Um, it's going to take a little bit of audio cues, because you want to figure out exactly when that dude is... Um, zapping so unfortunately like i said i'm used to getting it on first approach and if i ever have to recover from not exactly getting it on the first try that leads to a little bit of a problem but um so oh no he did too low so you want to do a little bit of timing so it's a little bit of a rhythm thing so let's see here explain this again I'm explaining something that I'm recovery I'm not super familiar with so oh no it missed it's pretty much just kind of keep jumping and kind of offset it a little bit if he's not zapping you too if it's uh, if he's not aiming high enough um but yeah, basically try and listen for when that lightning bolt's being sent to you because there's that very distinct whoosh sound whenever he tries to zap you. So um, I think that'll about do it on this explanation. Uh, and if you need any additional help, I can definitely coach you if I'm around. Anyways, thank you very much and hope this helps.